Hey guys, Flay here. Today I'll be making a quick guide on the Death of the Heavens mechanic from Dog to Run on Dragon Song Surpass Ultimate, so let's get right into it. Here are certain things that you need to know first of all. Four players are going to get Doom debuffs, while the other four sets of players are going to get no debuffs, but they are going to drop cleansing puddles underneath them, which need to be soaked by the Doom debuff players, just like in Yukob. The next thing to know here is the Axe Knight is going to spawn on any cardinal position. He is going to do an earthquake just like he does on phase 2 so dodge accordingly. Another thing to also pay attention to here is we are going to use this Axe Knight's initial position as to know for a later mechanic. The next important thing to know here is there will be two dragons that will dive through the arena. You will have to dodge these dives alongside dodging the earthquake but there will also be twisters that will happen as soon as these dragons dive hence you will have to also move forward to dodge the twisters. Next part is Sir Zephyrin is going to spawn on the arena and will do a Spear of Fury line AoE. Anyone standing in this line AoE will die instantly, hence you will have to dodge that as well. Here is a diagram to show the actual safe spots. Let's take it as the Axe Knight spawned at A, that is our true north. The bigger safe spots are at west and east, that is at 3 and C. The next safe spots are at northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast, but here is a catch. The actual safe spots are not directly onto the intercardinals because there will be the Sir Zephyrin Spear and Dragon Dive here as well. The actual safe spots are a bit more towards where the Axe Knight spawned and to the opposite cardinal of it. In this case, it is towards A and 1. So here, if you are at southwest and southeast, you will move a bit more towards south to be onto the safe spot. If you are at north, you will move a bit more towards A, that is at north, to go into the safe spot. Before I proceed to explain this strat, here are certain more things that you need to know about the next part of this mechanic. There will be Torden and the Gaze Eye that will spawn anywhere in the arena, and you will have to look away from both of these while doing the next part of this mechanic. The next part is the PlayStation mechanic just like in Phase 1, hence there will be players that get chained, they get knocked back and the chains have to be broken and there will be small AoEs, except this time you will have to do it in such a way that the players with the Doom debuffs are going to get knocked back to where the Doom puddles were located at and the players without any debuffs are going to get knocked back towards where there was no Doom puddles. Let's take a look at this diagram to demonstrate how this strat works. There will be the Axe Knight that spawns at C right here. This will become our new true north. We make our players line up quickly, whereby our four players with the Doom debuff are going to stand closest towards where the Axe Knight is located at, and the other four sets of players are going to line up quickly towards the opposite side. We make it so that the players who are lined up closest towards the safe cardinal positions go there first, and remember that from the previous diagram, these safe spots are the biggest, hence they can fit two or more players. For this strat, we make two players go there. So here it will be at A and 1, because C is our true north, the sage is going to go at A, the red mage is going to go a bit more forward. The gunbreaker is going to go at 1, the samurai with the doom debuff is going to move front. Here, the rest players are going to move towards the intercardinal positions. So here, the paladin is going to move towards B, the white mage is going to move towards D, and the reaper is going to move towards 2, the dancer is going to move towards 4. But like I said previously, the actual safe spot are towards where the axe knight is and the opposite direction. So here, it is towards C and 3 because C is our true north. This means that the dancer will move a bit more towards 3, the reaper is going to move a bit more towards 3, the white mage is going to move a bit more towards C, and the paladin is going to move a bit more towards C as well. And here the dragons are going to dive and everyone will be onto the safe spots. Let's take a look at the next slide. So here in this diagram, you will see everything happening. There is the Axe Knight that is going to do the Earthquake. There is a big Dragon's Dive towards the middle. There is the other Dragon's Dive. There is a Spear of Fury. There is the players who have the Doom debuff stand into the appropriate positions. There are the other players who have the Cleansing Puddles stand in the appropriate positions. Let's move on to the next part of this mechanic. There will be the Toad and Gaze, the PlayStation Mechanic, the Cleansing Puddles as I explained before. So here is how you dodge that. First off, 
locate where the gazes are because you will have to look away from this while getting knocked back. Now here is how the PlayStation mechanic works. Two players who previously did not get any Doom debuff are going to get the X markers. Two players who got the Doom debuffs previously are going to get the Circle markers. One player who got the Doom debuff is also going to get a Square marker and the other one is going to get a Triangle marker. The rest two who did not get any Doom debuff previously are also going to get a Triangle and a Square marker. Making sure to remember where the Axnaz true north was, in this case it was at sea, we make the players having the X markers go towards north and south, in this case it is towards C and 3. The players having the Doom debuffs and also having the circle markers are always going to go towards west and east, in this case it is towards A and 1. The reason for this is because there is always going to be a cleansing puddle there. The player with the Doom debuff having the square marker is going to get knocked back towards southwest, that is towards 4. The player with the Doom debuff having the triangle marker is going to get knocked back towards southeast, that is towards 2. The player with no Doom debuff having the triangle marker is going to get knocked back towards northwest, that is towards B. And the player having the square marker with no Doom debuff is going to get knocked back towards northeast, that is towards D. If you follow this strat correctly, the mechanic will automatically resolve itself. After this, there will be 8 meteors that will spawn, that is basically a DPS check, you will basically have to kill all of them before they explode. Let's take a look at this video to demonstrate everything that I just explained. So here the boss is casting Death of the Heavens. First thing that we are going to do is locate the Axe Knight. The Axe Knight is going to spawn at 1, we make 1 as our true north. Next thing is we quickly line up, in this video I'm going to get the Doom debuff. The dancer is going to be moving towards the intercardinal position, so I just adjust and move towards the cardinal position. Here you will notice that it can fit two players. So the player that is our gunbreaker having no doom debuff is going to stand behind, and me having the doom debuff, I'm just going to stand right outside this circle. So here, right after the second earthquake goes off and the dragons dive in, we start moving in while dodging the twisters. And here we prepare to adjust for the PlayStation mechanic. We locate one as our true north while also locate where the gazes were. In this PlayStation configuration, I am going to get the triangle, that is, I am going to get knocked back towards southeast, so southeast of one. You can see here is where I'm going to get knocked back at. There is Torden here, so I'm going to look towards this side so I don't get gazed. And here I'm going to get knocked back towards 4 and I take my puddle and this resolves the mechanic. Next you see is the meteors appear and here we proceed on to killing these and this resolves all the mechanics of death of the heavens. Let's take a look at another video example. So here the boss is casting death of the heavens and he becomes untargetable. First thing that we do is locate where the Axe Knight spawns. In this video, it is going to be at 3, hence 3 is our new true north. Next thing we locate is whether we have a Doom debuff or not. In this video, I'm not going to get any Doom debuff, so I'm going to move towards the left side. I see that the Gunbreaker is already moving towards one that is the cardinal spot, hence I just move towards one of the intercardinal spots at D. But remember, as I said previously, when you're standing into one of the intercardinal spots, you can't be directly onto the intercardinal spot. As you can see here, there is Ser the Ferin casting the spear, and there is also the dragon dives onto the other intercardinal spots. So I move a bit towards the right side here. We dodge these dragon dives and this spear. As soon as a second quake goes off and the dives go in, we start moving in. So here you can see the Doom Cleansing Puddle spawned right behind me. There is also the Twisters that spawn. And I'm going to move towards middle, dodging the Earthquakes. And here we get ready for the PlayStation mechanic. So here we locate where True North was, but since Torden is also at True North, we are going to be looking away from this. Next thing, I locate what marker I actually have. I get the Square Marker, but I do not have any Doom debuff previously, hence I'm going to get knocked back at Northeast, that is towards 4 this time. So I move towards 4, looking away from Torden and the Eye Gaze. I get knocked back here, towards 4, and this resolves the mechanic. Let's take a look at a third video example, so here the boss finishes casting Death of the Heavens. Next thing is we locate where the Axe Knight spawns at. 
So here the arcs net spawn towards this side, that is towards 1. This will be our neutral north. We locate what debuffs we get. I get no debuffs this time. I just go towards one of the intercardinal spots, but remember what I said before, you can't stand directly onto the intercardinal spot, and where the Axe Knight spawned at is at 1, so I'm going to move towards A right here. So I dodge towards A, and as soon as the second earthquake just goes off, we move forward, you can see the dives go off, there is the pistols go off behind, there is the puddles go off behind us, and we dodge this quake. Our healer just died in this, hence it means another player will die, but let's move on to see what playstation mechanic I get. Since Trunov was at 1 and Torden is at here and the gaze is on to the other side, I'm just going to look towards this side. This time I get no debuff with the triangle marker, this means I'm going to get knocked back towards northwest. This time it's going to be towards D. So here I get knocked back towards D. And here I survive this mechanic and you can see because the white mage died and the player died as well and this resolved the mechanic. Let's take a look at one more video example. So here the boss finishes casting death of the heavens. Next thing that we do is locate where the axe knight spawns at. In this video example it is going to be at 1. So 1 becomes our neutral north. Next thing is we quickly line up and locate whether we have a doom debuff or not. This time I did get a doom debuff so I'm going to move towards the right side that is towards the axe knight. So you will see here, both me and the dancer are moving towards D, so I'm going to adjust and move towards C, that is the cardinal spot. So since I have the doom debuff, I'm going to be in front and the gunbreaker who does not have any doom debuff is going to be behind. We wait the second earthquake. So as soon as the second earthquake goes off, we start moving in and dodge the twisters and the dives. So here we're going to get ready for the playstation mechanic. We locate where the true north was, that is at 1. So here I'm going to get the circle marker, this means I'm going to get knocked back towards C or 3, that is towards the west of 1 and east of 1. And here when I moved here I see there is Torden's gaze right here, so I'm just going to look towards C and D right here and get knocked back right towards C because there's a cleansing puddle right there. So here I get knocked back and I cleanse my puddle. So here you will see this resolve the mechanic and since the other players did not resolve the mechanic correctly, they just die. Thank you guys for watching, I hope this video was helpful to you and I'll see you guys later on.